Hey guys, Skittle Rampage here. Welcome back to a new video. I do hope you're enjoying your day today. So today we're going to be going over a hundred new Funko Pops that are expected next year. And this includes anime, Marvel, DC, video games, and so much more. Now these are going to be shared over from these three accounts over on Instagram, so thank you so much to them. And I do like to put a quick disclaimer in front of these leak and rumor videos that nothing is officially confirmed until Funko does announce it. So keep that in mind, but there's always a strong chance that we could see a lot of these. Now before we get started, we do have our question of the day, which is, do you have any Funko Pops that are kind of music related or they have like an instrument in their hands and I'm gonna go with Ember here from Danny Phantom. Alrighty so let's go ahead and jump into things so let's go ahead and start off with Star Wars here. So for Star Wars we have three different exclusives. This includes Qui-Gon Jinn, Force Ghost I believe from the Obi-Wan Kenobi series. Then we also have Urza with Lothcat as well as Starkiller Force Unleashed 2. So I think that Starkiller is probably going to be the star here, no pun intended. A lot of people have been waiting for Starkiller for a very, very long time, and he is finally being made into a Funko Pop. And as an exclusive, which is pretty cool. We don't know any exclusive details just yet. We just know he could possibly be coming next year, so of course stay tuned on that. I think another great one here is the uh, Qui-Gon Jinn Force Ghost. I think that's awesome too. Moving on for more movies, we do have Beetlejuice One Pops here. So this includes Lydia Dietz, Delia Dietz, we also have Beetlejuice with Tombstone, Beetlejuice with Shrunken Head, as well as Beetlejuice Snake, and then here lies Beetle, however you pronounce that exactly, as a deluxe exclusive. So it's actually been a long time since I've seen the original Beetlejuice pop, watched it as a kid, haven't really watched it since. I do actually plan to re-watch it because I do want to see the second movie that's out right now, but let me know for any hardcore Beetlejuice fans, are you excited for this new set of pops? Definitely some fun ones here. And again, this is Beetlejuice 1, not the new movie. Next up for my team, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle fans, we do have TMNT The Last Ronin here. So this includes a full wave from this comic series. We do have Leonardo, Donatello, Raphael, Last Ronin with the staff and Sai, I believe that's how you pronounce that weapon, as a deluxe. Then we have Oroku Hiroto as an exclusive, The Last Ronin Black and White, I'm sure that's going to be awesome as an exclusive. And finally, The Last Ronin Morning with the Turtle Spirits in a four pack there. That's also really fun. I do hope that four pack glows. I can tell they've been doing a lot with The Last Ronin recently, given we do have a game coming out, as well as even a live action series, if I'm not mistaken. And all the pops so far have looked great, so excited to see a lot of these. Next up for WWE fans, we have several new exclusives. This does include Rowdy Roddy Piper, LA Knight, which I believe that might be his first pop. I also think we have a common coming soon. Then we have Roman Reigns intro, John Cena, You Can't See Me, and the Dudley Boys in a two-pack with red camo. Our next section here is Marvel and DC. So starting with Marvel here, we do have Marvel Rivals here. So if you haven't played the beta, it did end not too long ago. However, the game is officially coming back in December, but we will be seeing these new pops next year, including Iron Man, Magneto, Doctor Doom, and Galacta as a six-inch pop there. So I actually did play this with some friends. I don't know. I, I don't know how I feel about the game. I played a lot of Overwatch, so it basically just feels like the same thing. A lot of the same elements. I do like some aspects of it. I don't like some aspects of it at the same time. So I am hoping on the game's final release, they did rework a few things to kind of get me a little bit more interested. And I'm not saying I'm a diehard Overwatch fan by any means. I enjoyed both games, you know, in different ways. Uh, but I don't know how long I see myself playing Marvel Rivals, I guess. Maybe it's because I'm so used to Overwatch, but we'll see. I'll definitely give it another shot. Let me know if you guys played the beta. Did you enjoy the game at all? Are you excited for these pops? Did you not like the game? I would love to know your thoughts. Now, our other set of Marvel Marvel Pops include some brand new comic covers here, mostly Spider-Man. So for Spider-Man, we do have Spider-Man number one, number 13, as well as Amazing Spider-Man number 529, Spider-Man 29, which I'm personally excited to see, one of my favorite suits. And then we do have an Elektra Daredevil number 168. And these are all different exclusives. I will say they have been going a little overboard with the Spider-Man, but I also understand why. This man has like a billion suits. There's also a million covers for Spider-Man. So there's endless stuff they can really do here. I won't participate in every single cover though because my walls, they would, they would all be covered. It'd be ridiculous. I have to be so selective with these comic covers. That 2099 might be calling my name though. I love that suit so much. One more Marvel pop includes Spider Gwen from Across the Spider Verse as an exclusive, basically where she's hanging upside down. Now, for my DC fans, we do have a new Batman animated series set. There's a lot of pops here too. We have Harley with the Harlequin doll, as well as an exclusive Diamond Collection variation. Then we have Ra's al Ghul, the Riddler, 
Batman on the rooftop in the intro as a deluxe, which I think is really cool. They could even make the lightning like glow in the dark in the background, illuminating a little bit. I think that'd be great. Then we have Mr. Freeze as an exclusive and Killer Croc as an exclusive. So basically they're adding a lot of new characters here that we haven't seen in this set just yet. Also, Mr. Freeze being another exclusive I thought was really funny because the original pop is also an exclusive. It just made me laugh when I saw that. But Definitely a lot of new ones here, which is great for anybody who is a big fan of the show. Fun fact, actually, Batman Animated Series was my first ever Funko Pop I ever got, so I might pick up a few of these. I don't know if I'm gonna complete the set anymore, but I do like the sound of a few of these. Moving on to Funko Pop memes, we do have Fry from Futurama here, and this is the Shut Up and Take My Money as an exclusive. So kind of surprised it took Funko this long to make this. I'm not really sure why they're so late on the meme pops. Plenty of other companies have done these as figures, but at the very least, they are making it. Next up for Disney fans, you're probably gonna be excited for this new Stitch character, and that is Leroy here as an exclusive. And why I say that is because it's finally a pop that is not Stitch from Lilo and Stitch. As you know, if you collect Stitch, they have made almost as many variations as his name 626. I'm not even kidding. It's ridiculous how many times they have made Stitch and variations of Stitch. And I love Stitch as much as the next person, but it is insane what they did with his character. Moving on for Sonic fans, this is a pretty fun one. We do have Super Sonic with all of the emeralds as an exclusive. I also believe this is supposed to be a pop plus situation like the recent Nezuko. So this one will cost a little bit more but hopefully it does look really cool. Alrighty guys, so the last few lines we do have to go over are some new anime exclusives and comments here from various different lines. Now you might've seen some of these, however, some were actually added to these lists, so I wanted to update you guys. So let's go ahead and start off with Chainsaw Man here. So for Chainsaw Man, lots to see here for sure for this second wave. Uh, we have Himeno uh, with the ghost hands, which is pretty cool. Then we have Kishibe, Kobanai, Katana Man, which a lot of people were asking for. We have Chainsaw Man in a Deluxe. I believe this is also his first transformation in the series. Then we have Makima Crush as an exclusive with a Glow Chase. And finally, Power with Meowie as an exclusive with a Flock Chase. So I'm guessing the cat would be what's flocked there. Maybe they'll flock Power's hair. I don't know, it just seems kind of really unnecessary to do something like that. Just a simple exclusive or just making it flocked out the gate as an exclusive would be perfect. But hey, you gotta sell more Funko Bobs, right? Nonetheless though, this Chainsaw Man Wave 2 is definitely looking really good. We should also be seeing like a pop in T-Ball No as well eventually, I believe maybe outside this wave though, but definitely some fun stuff here and lots of new characters. So let me know what you guys think about these new Chainsaw Man Pops for Wave 2. Are you excited or are you passing on them? Our next anime lineup comes from Demon Slayer, the Swordsmith Village arc. So let's check this out. This includes Muichiro with his Slayer Marks with a chase variation. Most likely the Slayer Marks are going to be the chase. Then we have Mitsuri there, also, Muichiro and Mitsuri should be in battle poses, just so you know. Then we have Ginya in his demon form, Hantengu, Gyoko. We also have Rengoku ninth form, which I am so excited. That should also be a, a pop premium, so hopefully it looks really great. Surprise, it's not a glow in the dark. Then we have Mitsuri battle damage there as an exclusive, and Zohakuten as an exclusive. Out of all of these, I am most excited for Zohakuten. That demon design is literally one of the best in the show, at least top three for me. But when all the emotions are combined together like that, he looks so freaking cool. I'm excited to see how Funko tackles that design. Overall though, I think this Demon Slayer wave is fantastic. I'm also very excited to see an updated Muichiro as well as Meat City. I felt both of their original pops are very boring, so I'll definitely get rid of my original ones if these ones are much better. And given he's gonna have his Slayer marks, I'm assuming this is gonna look really cool. I also will probably get rid of the Rengoku I have to update uh, with this newer ninth form Rengoku. Also, I don't know why ninth form Rengoku is in this wave given he doesn't appear in um, uh, season three. So he's like, you know, before that. So very weird there for sure. But let me know what you guys think about this new wave of Demon Slayer Pops. Are you excited for these or are you gonna pass on them? Next up for my Bleach fans, we have a full new set. So for Bleach, we do have Grim Jow in his resurrection. This includes a glow chase variation too. Very curious to see how they make that glow. Then we have Gin, Rangiku, Neliel, Hiori, Shinji, Soifan as an exclusive, and Harabel as an exclusive too. I think I can confidently say this is a fantastic 
fantastic wave because we are getting pretty much new characters here. Even Grimjow in a different form. It's not an updated version of the original mold, which I think is great. It keeps that original mold a little bit of grail status, a little more limited. All at the same time of it offering this new Grimjow in a different form. Very excited for this. Also excited for a ton of these characters like Neliel as well as Haribel. Nonetheless though, fantastic character choices by Funko. Can't wait to see how a lot of these turn out. Next up, we do have Yu-Gi-Oh here. They never stop with the Yu-Gi-Oh, but usually they always do a fantastic job. So let's take a look here. We do have Alexis Rhodes, Elemental Hero, Neos. We also have Yubel, Dark Magician, Dark Magic Attack. That should also be one of the Pop Plus, so it's gonna be a little bit more involved. Just extra detail, that's usually what Pop Plus means. Then we also have another Elemental Hero of Sparkman as an exclusive, and Black Rose Dragon Deluxe as an exclusive. So I'm surprised it says Deluxe there and not six inch, so I'm curious to see how those differ in sizes. Nonetheless though, usually with the dragons, they kill it, as you've seen with some of the previous molds. And overall, again, with Yu-Gi-Oh, they always do a fantastic job designing these. I don't know why, like, some anime lines, like, let's take Black Clover and Yu-Gi-Oh. A majority of the pops in those sets, always fantastic. Very few repaints. Yu-Gi-Oh has a couple, uh, but so far Black Clover has almost avoided that with a few exceptions of, you know, the Yuno and the new um, Fuego Pop. And then we have other lines like Demon Slayer where they did 45,000 pops from just season one alone. Glow in the dark variations, metallic variations, like, oh my gosh, give it a rest. I don't know why some lines get more love and details than others, but I guess it is what it is at this point. Next up for Naruto fans, we actually did talk about a majority of these, I believe a couple months ago, but here's an update with some new additions. So on this list, this includes Naruto with Giant Shuriken. This should have a metallic chase variation. Then we have Hinata Twin Lion Fist. Excited to see how that one turns out versus the one we did get uh, from Entertainment Earth. Then we have Jiraiya in a summoning pose. That's actually gonna be a very boring pop, I'm pretty sure. Then we have Neji, eight trigram, 64 palms. Excited to see that one. Haku and a pop and tea bundle. Looks like it's gonna be common. Then we also have Karin as an exclusive and Itachi Ito Tensei as an exclusive with a glow chase there. Very excited for that Itachi. I think that's gonna be awesome. They don't miss with the Itachi pop so far. We also should be seeing his Susano. I'm not sure when, however, that pop should be coming um, as an exclusive. But nonetheless, this is a great Naruto wave. Couple repeat characters like the Neji, Naruto, and Hinata, but hopefully these variations are really great. Naruto though, they've done a million times over. So this is gonna have to look awesome to really get people interested. But then again, they added a chase variation, so that usually gets people interested. But I think the one I'm most excited about in this wave, even though we have a couple Itachi Pops already, is Itachi for sure. And I also want to check out the Haku, because eventually we should be getting Zabuza too, so that's going to be a great pair. Though I do feel they should throw those into a two-pack, but I'm sure they will. Now our final anime lineup is Jujutsu Kaisen today here. Lots of crazy stuff here. I don't even remember if I, actually I do think I talked about some of these a while ago, but then they added even cooler ones. So let's check this out. So this includes Gojo Hidden Inventory, Megami with the Rabbits, Chozo, oh, I forgot to mention Chozo in that last video. That's one of them. Very excited to see his pop and also how they use his abilities in that pop. Then we have Itadori Black Flash, which should be a premium or pop plus. We have Nobara with the nails with a glow chase. Toji Bloody, which I am so excited for, exclusive with a glow chase there. I guess the blood's gonna glow, that's kind of weird, honestly. We have Gojo in the Prison Realm as an exclusive, and Gato with the Rainbow Dragon. Honestly, out of all of these, it's probably Toji or Chozo for me. But also the younger version of Gojo could be really cool and that Gato with the Rainbow Dragon. Honestly, it is a fantastic way for JJK. They are not missing here and hopefully they design these very well. But I think a lot of people have been very excited for Toji for sure. And if I'm not mistaken, over in the SH Figure Arts community, a lot of people have been asking for Toji as a figure too. I'm not sure why they won't make him or Jujutsu Kaisen in general, but that is all I see in the comments, them spamming Jujutsu Kaisen. So Funko might actually beat a company to the punch for once. Again though, Jujutsu Kaisen fans will be eating very well next year. They did a great job with this lineup. Well guys, that pretty much covers all of the latest Funko leaks and rumors. Let me know in the comments which ones are you most excited about. Anime, of course, here. A couple of the Marvel ones, I'm excited to see how those turn out. The Batman lineup from the anime series is also really great. I also want to see how that Sonic with the Emeralds turns out. Uh, Last Ronin, also really cool. I probably won't pick them up. I just want to see how the molds turn out. Very curious there. Um, the WWE pop for John Cena, You Can't See Me. I want to see how that turns out. 
Maybe the Spider-Gwen, but I already have a couple, so I probably won't get it. And then some of the comic covers. But overall, lots of things I'm interested in. Let me know if you are interested in anything new. Now that's everything for me though. Thank you so much for watching. Hit that like button down below if you did enjoy and subscribe and click that notification bell if you're new here. I do want to say a big shout out to all the awesome Patreon supporters of the channel. You guys are amazing for supporting myself and the channel. If you guys are interested and want to check out the page on the link is down below. We have a Patreon only Discord where we share a lot of information, news, restocks, updates, links, and more. And lastly, make sure you follow me on all my social medias at Skittle Rampage over on Twitter. TikTok, Instagram, and my Facebook page so you can stay up to date. All right, love you guys. See you guys in the next one. See you guys later. Bye.